In Altador's money district, there's an envelope icon on the map. Now, if there's an icon on the map, it must be important, right? However, when you actually go there to see what there is, you find nothing. Now, I've heard that there's sometimes someone that shows up there and uh, gives you quests. Well, if I move back a little bit... There he is. But when I move toward him, he just disappears. So what's going on? Well, to save memory and processing power, this game doesn't load all the characters in an area all at once. Instead, it only loads some of them. In addition, it might not make sense for some of the characters to be loaded at all if, say, you still haven't gotten rid of the purple clouds in the area. However, the characters aren't loaded one at a time. Instead, they're grouped together in asset groups. The code for the area allocates a limited number of slots, and each slot can have one of these asset groups loaded into it. In the case of the money district, there are only two slots, and the area loads either minions into the first slot if you haven't gotten rid of the purple clouds, or a Galleon, Pedalius, and Golon. Since these characters are pretty central, and can be seen from anywhere, it makes sense to have them be always loaded. The second slot is more interesting though. If you refer to this poorly drawn diagram I made in Microsoft Paint, entering the big red zone loads Claudius and Centurius, and entering the green zone loads Adele and Postmaster Tilbar. But there's a problem here. Postmaster Tilbar, who is loaded by this big green zone, is all the way over here, well inside the red zone. Which means that as soon as you get close to him, he unloads. Obviously the developers accidentally put him in the wrong asset group. In order to get him to show up, I'm going to need to switch to a real PS2, which unfortunately means black bars, low resolution, and mains hum. Okay, it's not that loud, but you get the picture. This doesn't work on emulator because the emulator disc is just too darn fast. Anyways, what I have to do is first stand behind this green line, then I move up to right before the red line, and then I quickly move past it jump back behind the green line, and then jump forward again in front of the red line. This tricks the game into not unloading Postmaster Tilbar, and I can walk up to him and get his quests. So how does this trick work? To answer that, I'm going to have to talk about threads. Threads are a fancy thing in computers that lets them do multiple things at once. The important thing is, that whenever a level decides to load in a new asset group, it does so using a new thread. However, when the level is loaded in, one of the first things it does is say how many threads in total it will need. In this case, it only requests to have two threads. So all this trick does is use up all two threads. When I pass the red line, the level spawns in a new thread to load Claudius and Centurius. Then, when I jump back past the green line, the level spawns yet another thread to load in Postmaster Tilbar and Adele. However, when I pass the red line a third time, the game tries to spawn a new thread yet again, but the first two threads haven't finished yet, so the third thread can't spawn, so it just doesn't. Instead, Postmaster Tilbar stays loaded, and I can walk up to him and talk to him, and he'll give me some quests to deliver packages around Altador, which is pretty neat. Anyways, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching, and uh, make sure to stare threateningly at the subscribe button for me. Bye. <laughs>